So SpaceX uh, is a response to the history of space exploration. This is my point of view. So one of the magical things about NASA, National Aeronautics and Space Administration here in the US, is the administration has stayed about the same for 50, 1958, what is that? 56 years. The reason is Congress had the, either the ignorance or the genius to put a dozen NASA centers in 12 different, 13 different places around the US. And when you try to close a NASA center in Congress, people come unglued. You can't close a NASA center. This is how people got to the moon. Uh, when John Kennedy was shot, which was an awful thing, any idea to cancel the moon program was squashed. As soon as Kennedy was shot, we couldn't not not go, as the expression goes. So humans went to the moon, space program existed, changed the world in a great way. Uh, however, it made things expensive. When you build rocket engines in Alabama you, and you get the fuel from Utah and you test them in Mississippi and you then send them to Florida and control all that from Texas with uh, some drop testing done in Cleveland and uh, all sorts of uh, material science research and so on done in California, some flight tests done in the desert of Arizona, when you do all that you just add cost. When you go to SpaceX, the material, uh, the stainless steel and the aluminum come off the train cars. It goes through the factory like this. We make our tanks. We make our space frame or airframe. We make our rocket engine bells. We, make our, we hook up all our plumbing. It goes back this way. We do the wiring. And it gets back on the train car and goes to either Vandenberg Air Force Base or Cape Canaveral or some other place because it's all made in one place. But the way NASA was established in 1958, it's not set up that way, and that was good and bad. So it is to be hoped that SpaceX, Sierra Nevada Space, uh, Blue Origins, that these companies will emerge and lower the cost, especially of taking stuff to low Earth orbit. Keep in mind, everybody, for all the free market uh, libertarian, uh, let's go, laissez-faire people. SpaceX has taken at least half a billion dollars, 500 million dollars from NASA because NASA wants to develop this capability. When you buy an Atlas V rocket or a Delta IV rocket, those are commercially made gizmos. And so is going to be the Falcon and Falcon Heavy. These are commercial rockets and NASA has gone to great lengths to develop that business. It's all good. It's all good. I would go to space like that. I applied to be an astronaut four times. Uh, I would love to get a view of the Earth from space. And uh, right now the price is $200,000. Starts to come down into the tenth of that. I could, I could imagine doing it. If you've never jumped out of a plane with a parachute, that is cool. I don't do it full time, but I get it. It's exciting. And you do see the world in a new way, and you're in the air. Everybody's dream is to be able to fly. You're flying for a few moments. It's, I get it. I can see how people get hooked on that. And I think space exploration would be the same deal. <laughs>